The intention of this uh, Drop Tech workshop is uh, to get uh, colleagues interested in the Drop Tech platform and to find future collaborations. It would be great if other scientists uh, would um, be interested in the Drop Tech platform and that we can uh, collaborate in future for uh, different workflows. DropTech is an EU project where we want to establish an automated hanging drop platform for the automation of uh, sophisticated cell culture techniques. DropTech uses uh, high-throughput uh, pipette robots in order to uh, automate the uh, hanging drop cell cultivation for the production of homogeneous uh, three-dimensional uh, cell probes. We particularly try to use human-induced pluripotent stem cells for this approach because um, we, be we and others believe that these cells are superior to the conventional cell models that are being used in drug discovery because human iPS cells are on the one hand patient specific or have a certain genetic background that is very much resembling the, the natural phenotype of a cell so it's not altered like, like in a normal cancer cell line that is usually applied in drug discovery so that's a clear, dif uh, clear advantage and um, by using differentiation protocols, we can also drive these cells into, into specified lineages, so lineages of the, of the central nervous system, for example, or uh, cardiac tissue, um, liver tissue, for example. And, and this is usually not possible with, with the cell lines that are used for conventional drug discovery. So we want to come up with more physiologically relevant models and then take those to our colleagues in the pharma industry and in the drug discovery industry and say you, know, you should be really using these improved model models because what they should do is allow you to identify compounds which don't show up in your, in your regular um, mouse-based models. Well, working with the hanging drops and uh, the experimental work behind it was the new novelty for me, and the workshop gave me an opportunity to uh, to work with it. Uh, it was really funny to see all the technology behind and the outcome on the cardiomyocytes uh, functioning. <laughs> they were really uh, exciting. It's very interesting to see how um, how the hanging droplet work in an essay format and how do you analyze the um, droplets? The trend goes to three-dimensional tissue models and uh, there is no technology, not even a concept, to read this out in an automatable uh, manner. Um, up to now there are technicians uh, looking for the uh, contractions on the microscope and that is expensive, takes time and it's prone to errors. And so we looked uh, for technology that uh, can do all this in an automated manner uh, that is sensitive but robust. And uh, I think we found a way to um, detect uh, those contractions uh, in a very sensible way. We on a regular basis um, organize um, workshops, practical workshops with theoretical lectures in the morning and then practical workshops in the labs. And we showed the drop tech, we integrated drop tech in such workshops. And this is exactly what we think the way the market access of a new technology has to be done through the scientists in the lab. And they use here drop tech, they learn a little bit about drop tech, they can take their lessons learned home and are a pre educated drop tech um, user. And what is also interesting, a lot of participants coming to our workshops are always thinking, do you have any new innovative technologies around which you can integrate in your workshops? And this is what we did with DropTech.